All right, y'all, I'm back with my stepfather, Ice Mike. So I want to ask you about the day you met my mother. How did you ma meet my mama? <laughs> On this particular day, uh, it was it was cold, I think. It was cold outside. And uh, we was on, I think we was on, I forget which bus. I forget, we was on the train or a bus. I forget which one we was on. I think it was the train. And um, it was real crowded. So I was trying to get her attention. And the pole that be in the middle, you know. To hold on, the pole to hold on yeah. to. And okay. You, you got people around. So I didn't want to be ignorant and get up and say, excuse me. Went to a point and then tell somebody else, excuse me, you know, so I could sit by this, by this individual I seen, which was my wife. My, my future wife, which is my wife today. Right. So, um, as time went on, I didn't I didn't directly speak. I couldn't get a chance to get it. Then days and weeks went by and not seen her again. And we kept running into each other. And I said, I'm going to say something to her. So I finally said something to her. And, uh, we changed them, and then when she told me she was a widow, it kind of hit my heart. I was like, "Oh man!" It made me feel like I did something bad on the strip of I was flirting, but I wasn't expecting that response. Right, you weren't expecting her to tell her tell yeah. you that she was a widow. Yeah. Okay. I like, so I said, I, I, "Please forgive me," because I don't know how long you you know she's been since he passed away. Right. I don't know how long it's been, so I didn't want to be rude or disrespectful, things like that, in that nature. Right. So uh, as time went on. We changed numbers and started shit changing. And I think he was in the army at the time. When, I was in school. I was in school. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was in college. Yeah. yeah, he was in college at the time. And she, and she, was, tell, and she was telling me, I said, hey, I'm talking to you sometime on the phone, things like that. And he used to ask, him, who's that Michael here? I want to meet him and things like that. <laughs> I used to say, I want to meet him. Who is yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that time with those. Um, uh, yo, yo. Your grandma had a birthday party at your mom's house, and I DJ that particular day. Yep. And it turned out real good nice. That's when I met you. Yeah. At the party, I came home for Thanksgiving, because yeah. grandma's birthday is in November, and that's yeah. when I met you then. You DJ the right. party. You had the house rocking, yeah. right? Okay. So let me ask you this. When you hear the woman that you're interested in has a son, an older son, did you get to be a little nervous about that? Because sometimes, you know. Answer that question again. You when you hear that a woman that you're interested in has a son, an mm -hmm. older son, mm -hmm. I was at, I was 20, 20, something like that, mm -hmm. right? Were you a little nervous about it because you don't have no children? You think like, you know? Somewhat, somewhat, but it was, what you know, I feel like, I felt that at the time, you know, somewhat, I felt a little nervous, but yeah. I also was myself. And I feel that if a person got kids and you're trying to get involved with a man try to get involved with one kid, you know, they come with the full package. I think that you got to just get to know that individual. Correct. Then as time goes on, you'll get to know that person mentally. mentally. So you'll know if the, if the son violent or whatever the case may be. You, know, you probably have to go to the, I might probably have to go to the girlfriend and say, hey, your, your son is out of order, things like that. that nature. Right. I'm not here for violence and things like that. that nature. Right. You know, I'm here for uh, all of y'all, all of, all of you know. Like yeah. Everybody. For sure. You know, because you got some people, kids, that, that's violent. Right. Yeah. You know? I wasn't a violent kid. Yeah, no. you? <laughs> yeah I've been through that too. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been, been through that too. So. Right, right. So, um, when, you know, at, you know, after you and my mom uh, dating all that type of stuff, whatever, you meet the family and everything like that, everything felt cool and natural to you? Oh, definitely. I feel comfortable. I feel like I, my heart was at home. Got you. Know, you. Um, I just feel, I just feel like I'm fitting. Yep, definitely. You know, our family like to play, joke, yeah. listen to music. Mm -hmm. So it was right, yeah. right up your alley for the right pretty, yeah. Pretty. Remember the family I, mean, I have today. Right, you know? for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you don't see that too much nowadays, though. You know what I mean? You don't see that much. Most, you know, family is not really gathering together like they used to. Yeah, and our father, our family loves to gather. We have a lot of family gatherings. Yeah, that's for I love, sure. I love that. <laughs> My mama make sure of that. So let me ask you this. Yes, my last legs. You know, I got it. <laughs> yep. She always put together gatherings, yeah. all that. We always had it at the house. So let me ask you this. What did you like about my mom? Charisma. Yeah. Uh, she was her personality, her smile. I love the way she just carried herself. And she was just real. She was honest. Right. Yeah. And, and at the time, I used to think that by me being 
13 years older than her. I, I thought maybe, uh, I said, well, I was too, I was going to try to break up with her, you know, <laughs> but I caught feelings. Yeah. I caught, I caught feelings. And it was like, hey, what do you do? What do you catch feelings and things like that? And then she was like, well, I, uh, I dated somebody who was older than you and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I'm used to dating older men. Yeah. Right, so you had never dated a woman as young as my mom at that point. Uh, incorrect enough. I mean, um, ooh, that's good. <laughs> had you ever dated someone thirteen, at least as old, as young as my mom? She's you and her are thirteen years apart in age. Oh yeah, yeah, that's first. Oh, the first time you dated someone as young as my mom. Yeah. Yes, you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, I know. I know women are wrong. Maybe like 13 years older, you know. Yeah. That's a, that's a big spring. For sure. And like when I came home, I seen how y'all vibed and how y'all meshed and everything. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's a cool guy. Because sometimes you just never know now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you never know who, what you're going to be running into and what you're going to yeah, be like dealing with. Hot fire quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but I'm like, oh, no, he's a cool guy. You know, everything's all good and everything was all lovely. And like I say, when I graduated from college, you came down there to support and everything. Yeah. And that was all love, you know, riding with my mom every step of the way, 10 hours away to Mississippi, yeah. coming to get me from school from down there and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It was all good and, and fun. The yeah, fun time. So you get to bring in to get in. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. That is correct. So I want to ask you about this though. Um, eventually, you end up. We talked about your father. You lost your mother, as well. How did that affect you? Wow. Um, it affected me pretty bad, but uh, I think I accepted more because she was around longer than my dad. Uh, it took me 10 years, like I said, it took me 10 years ago. It took you 10, 10 years to get over your dad. My, my mom, it's more, it was more easier for her. She was with me, Jordan, all my life, too. To, like, what? I was, she passed away. How many years ago she passed away? Four years ago? Four years ago. Yeah, so you about, what, 59 at that point? Yeah, somewhere off in there, 58, 59. Yeah, so you and had her for a while. Yeah, you know, she been around me, you know what I mean? So it's, it's more easier. To let go, my feelings not as harsh as my dad, cause you know I was younger. Right, yeah, early twenties. You know, it's hard to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah. I would say it's hard to lose a parent at any point, yeah, but any point, yeah, but exactly. when you're young though, I understand yeah. it, cause you yeah. feel like you're gonna have your father for yeah. all throughout yeah. your thirties, your forties. Yeah, you know, he was he was just built in that thing, you know. And he was, you know, when you, I was never expecting that to happen. How did he pass away? Well, they say he had a. Uh, what they call it? Aneurysm. Uh -huh. Okay, got you. Yeah. Um. So, but you and your mom were close as well. Yeah, we, 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 we me and my mom came more closer, real tight. Um, let's see. When I was younger, like, <laughs> like from like 10 to like 19, 19 or 20. Me and my mom, we couldn't get along. We got along, but we couldn't get along. We was always bigger than mm -hmm. you know. Right. And, but as I got as I got older, cause I guess because I favored my dad a lot, the cheese to always just find a way to get on my nerves. As, mm -hmm. as I was, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. Right. But that's what it was. Yeah, but eventually. And eventually, you yeah. know, time took care of his courses and. Right. Uh, we became best friends. Yep. And you end up donating an organ to your mother, correct? No. No, you did not. No, I gave a, I gave a, You did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you I'm did. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, you did. My bad. <laughs> my kidney. Yeah, you're right. You gave your mother your you kidney. My left kidney. That's all did. Yeah. And so, um, I can imagine that even making the bond even stronger. Yeah. You know, yeah. what you donated your kidney I to your mother. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine the bond becoming even stronger after yeah. that point. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, and I remember your mother was very lively, even in older age and all of that yeah. too. So, yeah, I know it's definitely hard to lose a parent, but you know she was at important events like your wedding and all of yeah. those things. Yeah. So that that definitely that My mom was the same person that, like, if you want to ask her for something, let's just say you want to borrow some money, anything. 